Hi. <laughs> Hello. Debated. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Welcome to a new Let's Play. A new GT Let's Play. It's GT Pro Series for the Nintendo Wii. What, were you expecting Gran Turismo? <laughs> now we're playing GT Pro Series. So if you guys remember, several years ago, I played a little trilogy of games for the Game Boy Advance called uh, GT Advance. Well, this is the home console version of those games, basically. It, um, this actually took a while to come out over here in North America, because this was originally released on the Nintendo GameCube in 2003 in Japan as GT Cube. Cube Advance, GameCube, Game Boy Advance, you get it. And then finally in 2006, they decided to actually port it over here to North America. Uh, uh, ported it to the Wii. Uh, apparently this was a launch title for the Wii. I obtained this randomly because I saw it in the store and I saw GT Pro Series. That sounds like a really cool, fun racing game. I'm going to get it. So I got it. And fun fact, I got a box version of like a little box bundle thing that came with a little uh, insert for the Wii remote. A little, little wheel insert for the Wii remote. That you, you put the Wii remote right in there. And it's, it's a little snug, but it's cute. Also, this game only uses the Wii remote and only the Wii remote because it was a launch game. So I'm immersed. But yeah, so GT Pro Series. Let's, uh, switch scenes, and let us get rid of the gameplay demo, and here we are. So this game, for some reason, I'll get into it in a moment, this game has a, uh, oh, wow, whoops, I forgot to, uh, turn the Elgato down when I was, uh, messing with stuff. I was recording stuff earlier, and, uh, yeah. But before we get into this, let's check out the options, because there's stuff. Uh, rankings are just best times. We have our controls. There's actually multiple different control schemes in this. There's also four-player local multiplayer, which is cool. Uh, but... Uh, there are multiple different control schemes. Now, there is a tilt steering function in the game where if you if you like steer the Wiimote like an actual like wheel the car will steer um there's also a version of controls where you can steer with that and also go like this in this to shift the car up and down there's also just buttons just buttons mode no no motion controls i'm gonna go with uh type c and uh, then D, E, and F are just the same controls looped, except uh, accelerate and brake have been swapped on the one and two buttons. I'm gonna go with Type C. I'm gonna keep the wheel, it, keep it in the wheel insert just for the comfort purposes. It feels easier to hold. <laughs> this is funny. Sure, we'll turn Rumble on. Why not? And uh, yeah, sound options. The sound by default is actually like very low. I'm gonna just crank this shit up and then turn it down on the Elgato. Just because. But, uh, yeah. And then here's the weird part of this game. So this game has a widescreen mode. Here's, here's the normal screen, by the way. It has a widescreen mode. But the widescreen is not a full 16x9 widescreen, it's more like a 16x10. So it doesn't full the fill widescreen. I cropped the the, uh, the actual like source a little bit, so it's 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 a little odd, but it is what it is. So I'm actually gonna move my timer a little bit. It's it's a little strange, but yeah. So those are our options. Let's get into GT Pro Series. We have multiple modes here, including loading and saving. Uh, there's a drift combo mode we'll get to eventually. Uh, versus mode, which is two, multi, uh, two to four players. Time attack, your, sim your typical time trial mode. 
uh, quick race, your typical single race mode, and then the meat and potatoes of the game, the championship mode. Single player mode, race through many courses with regulation cars, collect trophies for your garage. That's what we're going to do. So here is the championship mode in GT Pro Series, and here's our garage. Here are my new garage with my Honda Fit. Blind playthrough. I've actually played through most of this before, not the entire game, but I've played through most of it. Um, so I know, I, I kind of know what to expect. It's been several, several years though. So this game does work very similar to the GT Advance games in the fact that um, we have just a garage of cars that are unlocked. Some are unlocked, some are not. So for instance, we go to Mitsubishi here, we have four cars unlocked already, including the Colt, uh, Evo 7, I think that was. Chariot Grandis, an air tech. Yes, I mentioned that as I was introducing the game's zero. GT Cube. Uh, each, star, each car has stats, acceleration, top speed, and handling. The more to the right, the better it is. We have six different base colors. I'm just gonna drive the air tech, because why not? This is a real GT game. Yes. Uh, there's also two different physics types, racing and drift. I'm gonna primarily use the racing physics, or grips, setting. I'm gonna show the drift setting just to show what it's like. But I'm gonna stick with the grip setting, just because it... I, uh... In time, Junior. There's also upgrades that we unlock over time, just like the GT Advance games, and then also... We can just repaint our car with an RGB paint booth. We can we can just do we can just make it pink. Uh, I'm saving that for the vits instead. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna make this a little blurple. We'll do that. That looks good. I like that. Also, if you're not familiar with the Wii Remote uh, design. Uh, it's very simple. You have a one button, a two button, so a two button will be accelerate. Uh, there's an A button here, uh, plus and minus for stuff, and then a D-pad, and then on the back you have a B trigger. Well, it's more of a button than a trigger, but you, you know what I mean. Save our data, look at the options again. And yeah, so, um... Let's just, let's go race in our Mitsubishi AirTech. We have four different classes of races here. Uh, only one available to us is the beginner's class, so we're gonna go to the beginner's class first. This is a game I wound up enjoying. I think I did just based solely on the fact that I enjoyed the GT Advance game, Zero. Um, anyways, here's our beginner cups. We have a few of them to do. This is the reason why I'm not driving the Vits yet. But uh, we're gonna get started with the first cup, the Enjoy Cup, because... Enjoy. And enjoy a first taste of the game. Go out for a spin. Have fun. I will. Three races at three tracks. Downtown Street, Greenfield, and High Pitch Pass. Each race is only going to be one lap each. Because it's the beginning of the game. We can also choose our car from here. We even have a course length, so High Pitch Pass, by far the longest course of these three. So, let's load into Downtown Street, and let's get going. Daytime weather, fine. Lap, one lap. Enjoy spelling I cup. Alright, see if I can remember. Yeah! Alright, I remember how to do the quick launch. Let's go. There's a there's a quick launch in this game where I think if you launch around 6,000 RPM or somewhere close to that, you get a uh, you get a quick launch like that. Anyways, here's the drift setting of oh god the game's loud oh god the game's loud let me turn that down a little bit all right that's still considered really loud but we but yeah the drift handling is a little kooky and i personally don't prefer it also the freaking wheel the skid sounds holy shit they're loud louder than anything else. I like how this is a 6 speed, but it reaches to, it only tops out at 100 at the beginning. 
Um, in terms of opponent cars, uh, this game also works like uh, GT Advance games where the uh, AI scale, uh, the AI car uh, field scales to whatever car you're driving, whatever upgrades you have. So you can't basically you can't cheese the game in any way. Anyways, we win first race, one minute eleven. We beat out a Presage in Odyssey Legacy, X Trail in Alfard. A Volts, a Stream, an Elgron, a Tribute, an MPV, and a CRV. Those are all actual cars in this game. Points. This game is very stingy with points. It only hands out, it only awards points to the top three. Ten for the win, five for second, and then three for third. So, uh, this game is very stingy with points. Luckily, these beginning races are... God damn, this looks so fit. If it's, I'm not sure if you've noticed, but this is a very arcade game. It's a very arcade game. Also, yeah, it is basically... It has that cel-shaded art style like Automodelista. I will say, uh, kind of playtesting this and trying to get everything to work, um, or making sure everything works, uh, I was honestly... I, I forgot how, like, not really good this game looks. Like, honestly, graphically, it's kind of weak. For, uh, even for 2003 on the GameCube. It still looks cool, though. It's like, I don't hate it. In Gran Turismo, it's GT, though. Oh, I forgot to change the, uh... ...thing. And Twitch, the category. Anyways, here's Greenfield, race two. I got the quick launch again. Let's go! Use more polish. Yeah, I think if I think it's mostly the grass texture that kind of is a little gross to me, and it's used everywhere. Like it's all right for you know what it is for what is basically a console adaptation of a primarily uh, handheld series. It's it's not too bad. Oh my god, the drifting. I'm so not used to the drifting. I will say, I did- I have made one very unfortunate sacrifice, uh, when using to the button control scheme and disabling motion controls is... There aren't enough buttons on this, uh, on the Wiimote for there to be a horn. So, um... Unfortunately, no horn for me. The race is over, by the way. I won. 51 seconds. I'm just going to quickly scroll through this, because the game likes to uh, move to the next menu if you don't move. Hey. They're all traction. Oh, Davin. Big fan. Oh, hi. Hey, guys. Welcome to a GT game. Welcome to GT Pro Series. Big fan. How we doing, everyone? Welcome to High Pitch Pass. Can't honk for horn. Yeah. Unfortunately, I cannot honk. Oh, quick launch. Go. It's also a little weird because of the limited buttons on the Wiimote. I have to use like up and down on the D-pad to uh, upshift and downshift while also steering with the D-pad. This is the bad hand and all the good one. This is the drift one, so I'm going to guess the bad one. What on earth is this? This is GT Pro Series for the Nin uh, It was a Wii launch game over here. Uh, originally released in 03 as GT Cube in Japan. It's uh, it's basically like the fourth. It, it's the uh, it's a home console basically adaptation of the GT Advance series from the Game Boy Advance. It is a uh, very goofy racing game. I should, like, replay the GT Advance series at modern quality and also uh, language standards. Compared to how they were several... the several years ago. Oh yeah, I haven't even gone through, like, different cameras or anything. Because this game does have, oh fuck, different camera options. So there's a near chase cam, there's a far chase cam. There's also a bumper cam, complete with rear view mirror. 
and there's even a hood cam. Because GT. <laughs> I don't know. Sticking with the close chase cam, though. Wee. Oi. This game is disgusting with Japanese and its soundtrack. Dun, 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 dun. I win. The beginner league is turbo, turbo easy. The air tech comes out on top. Aha. Perfect 30 points, 13 for the Odyssey, 8 for the Passage, and the Legacy Wagon got 3. And there we go, we win, and we got a present, we got, got a uh, air filter upgrade, grade A. And we've unlocked the Nissan 180SX S13, got us an S chassis, hell yeah, and there's the Enjoy Cup. Uh, note that the trophy actually has, uh, says GT Cube on it. They, did, they didn't update the trophies, trophy model for this, for this release. Whatever. But we win the Enjoy Cup. And that's pretty much it. We just kinda keep going here. Here's our progress. And we've unlocked stuff, so... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna save my data. Please press the 2 button, and then we're going to uh, move on to our next series.